Hello. In this video, we're going to cover primitive data types in JavaScript. There are six of them, string, number, boolean, undefined, null, and symbol. Symbols new in ECMAScript 6. I haven't really used it yet, and I don't really know what they are, so we're not really going to talk about symbol at all. As you can see, I have just some random container that has some size so you can kind of see what we're talking about. Uh, let's start with string. So string is basically anything that is in quotation marks. So this is a string. Uh, I know we haven't talked about them yet. I know we haven't talked about them yet, but we're going to uh, create a variable. We'll just call this variable string, just so you can kind of see it in the browser or the DOM. And so I have the inner HTML here. Right now it's displaying stuff. Let's display the string here. If I refresh it, you'll see this is a string. Um, string can be any length. They can, they can include numbers. They can include, uh, well, they can include, uh, if you want to include some other symbols, you can escape characters with the backslash here. So that'll include the apostrophe. Otherwise, you can't have that, and you can include a backslash. So this will include an apostrophe and a backslash at the end because we're escaping those. I'll put some letters here just so you can kind of see more clearly. Let's put string one here. So if you want special characters, you need to put a backslash before them. You see I have the apostrophe there and a backslash there. If I just had a backslash, you wouldn't see it because the backslash is an escape character. In fact, it might mess up because there's a quotation mark there. Yep, we got a illegal character. But if I put another quote here, uh, then that quotation mark will show up at the end there. Uh, so that's escaping characters. We have numbers, which are basically any number. So let's just call var number equals, uh, let's just call it seven. If I put in a uh, num there, seven will show up there. Numbers can also be uh, decimals. So you can throw in some decimals there. Um, you can also add numbers. So I can do var equals num plus num. That'll be, it'll calculate that for you. If I put in another num, var num one equals, uh, let's say four. We can do var num equals uh, num plus num one. So if I add that, we can multiply them together. Um, that. We can divide them. And so those are numbers. You can pretty much do any math operation with them. Uh, there's also something called um, the modulus, which is basically how many times. It gives you the remainder, basically. So if I do uh, 8, it's a num, modulus num 1. Modulus is basically, I think, it's the percentage sign here. It would be 0 because there's no remainder. If I do a 10 here, it will show 2 because there's a remainder of 2 there. Boolean is basically true or false. So uh, var bool equals true. So we'll just do var bool one equals false. If there is just basically exactly what true and false means. Um, it's either true, false, um, call this bool. That's true, that's false. Um, we'll get more into Booleans a little bit later. Um, so I guess what we can do is if, uh, let's see, if uh, bool equals true, so basically if that's true, we're going to display the bool in there. Or let's, if it's true, we'll display the, I don't know, let's display a string in there. So since it's true, we would expect it to be, show up in there. But um, if equals false, Obviously, bool here is not false, so we will not see this in there. Uh, so that's how booleans work. We have undefined, which is basically if something is not defined, it'll be undefined. So let's say uh, this is undefined. Now, you see here we don't have an equal sign here, so it is not defined. Let's get rid of this and that. And we're going to display this is undefined. Now obviously we haven't defined it, so it'll show up as undefined here. So if we don't 
to find something, it will be undefined. Null is really similar to undefined. It's you're giving it a value of nothing except you're explicitly setting it. So we'll say var this is null equals null. And it's basically it'll end up being very similar to undefined. It's null and it'll be uh, and there's nothing there because it's null. It basically means that it's nothing. Uh, one last thing before we end this video. Uh, so booleans, there are true, there's true and false. There's also things called truthy and falsy. Truthy means that it basically exists, and falsy basically means that it doesn't exist or is null. And so uh, strings, oops, I think it fell down there. Uh, strings are truthy, numbers truthy, uh, undefined is falsy, and null is falsy. And I'll just kind of show you what that looks like really. So again, we'll display string. Let's put conditionals here. So we'll say, so string one here, it's a string, so it's going to be truthy. Let's just say if string one. Now string one is not technically true, but it exists, so it's truthy. So it'll show up as true in the if statement here. And we should see the string here. Same thing if we put a uh, num, let's say num1 here, so number is the 4, it exists so it's truthy, again we see the string, or the string here, uh, if we put in, this is undefined though, it's not technically false, but it is falsy, so we won't see it in there, it won't show up, and then finally, let's put in this is null, uh, this is also going to be falsy, it's not technically false, but it doesn't exist, and so we will not see the string there. Um, if we just put true in here, it'll show up. If we put false in here, it will not show up. There's another thing that won't show up, but that's falsy. Uh, this technically isn't a number, but uh, let's see if I can do it. Uh, not a number. Let's try. Um, let's try doing a string, uh, string divided by 3. I haven't tested this, so I don't know if it's going to work, but let's just erase this. Let's put in not a number. Hopefully we'll get a, yay, we get a NAN here. That means not a number, and obviously you can't divide a string by a number. Um, also, not a number is falsy as well, so this is going to be just a falsy here. So if we want to display string, if we said if uh, not a number, oh, uh, so not a number is not technically false, it's NAN, but NAN is falsy, so we should not see the string inside of this container, and we do not. Whereas if we put num in here, we will. So these are the five basic primitive data types of JavaScript. Again, I still don't really know what symbol does. I'm sure it does something pretty cool, but I haven't dug into ECMAScript 6 yet. Uh, that's all for this video. In, the, in a future video, we'll cover objects and arrays and functions and variables and uh, other stuff. But this is, again, just taking things bite-sized and doing a little bit at a time. All right, thanks, bye.